fishies, not froggies. When these tadpoles get older, they're going to become froggies. Some animals, like frogs, have bodies that change from one form to another as they grow. That's called metamorphosis. Mother frogs lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, tadpoles come out. Tadpoles are baby frogs. Mm. The tadpoles have long tails and live and breathe underwater, just like fish do. Uh-huh, fishies. Yeah, but watch this. As the tadpoles get older, their bodies change. Legs. Right. First, they grow their back legs and then their front legs. And they don't have to stay underwater all the time. They can come out on land. As they change, their tails get shorter and shorter until they look like that. Frogs are so cool. Yeah. change form as they grow, but you won't. You'll stay the same as you grow. Just like these animals. You'll just get bigger. No wings. No wings, but a much bigger you. Eh, just Nash? Yeah, always Nash, but bigger. Okay. <laughs> Like it. It would be nice to turn into a lion. Or to grow a tail. Or wings. Now that is cool. But Nash is going to stay Nash. And that's great. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah. Big Nash. See? Whoa. Whoa. It's a really big Nash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the perfect place. Let's dig. Uh, 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 very, very gently. Cover up the roots so it has a chance to grow. Oh. <gasps> yep, that tree is a goner. But maybe we can replace it with a tree that's just like it. How would we do that? There's probably another tree like the sapling growing here somewhere. And maybe it would have seeds. So we could plant those. Yay! Which tree is it? So many trees. Trees of the same species have the same kind of leaves. So if we could find a tree with the same leaf, it would be the same kind of tree. It's sort of long with some squiggly edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight tips on each leaf. And there's a line down the middle that ends in the stem. I think I found it. It looks like it's an oak leaf. So we're looking for an oak tree. Polos, let's go on a tree hunt. Yeah! The leaf is just as long, but doesn't have squiggly edges. This has the edges, but fewer tips. Got it! It's got the same edges, the same number of tips, and the same line down the middle. Uh, it's littler. That's because this is a big tree and our sapling is a young tree. That's the one. Now all we have to do is find a seed. Acorns? Are those the seeds? Right. Oak trees grow from acorns. Look! Wow! 
sweet. Poor little sapling. Let's try to plant it again. Good Let's idea. Try it. Huh. Yeah. Arm in arm and hand in hand. Everyone across the land. If you want to grow a tree, just plant a seed. Watch it grow, watch it grow. Change the world when you sow. Seeds of love and hope. Watch it grow. See the earth bright and green. Pray the air fresh and clean. Feel the love and hope. Watch it grow. toolbox and take the whole seat apart. Willow, that sounds serious. Too serious. I think we all need a break. Let's go outside. Good idea, Marco. Come on, everybody. Ah, it's so beautiful here. And so calm. And so peaceful. Waddle, waddle. Ah! It's just like the rattle in the polo mobile. Only worse. What's making that noise? Hey, you guys, look up. It's a woodpecker. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Hmm. I think its feet really help it hang on to the tree. Yeah. Two of its toes face forward and two face back. So it can stay balanced while it pecks and climb the tree. I wonder how many times a woodpecker pecks wood. We could count. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow, we can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey, look! Whoa! It's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polo mobile. <laughs> Dickie! So you've made a woodpecker tongue? Right. I'm gonna fish out whatever's making the rattle the same way woodpeckers get bugs out of trees with something long and sticky. Uh, uh, I think I got it! My maraca! I was looking for that! Thanks, Willow. Is that it? No more rattle? Only one way to find out. Yeah! That piece of wood is full of grooves. Do you think those insects made them? Like maybe they ate the wood? Let's find out what they are. They're termites. Too bad termites can't talk. They would have been close enough to see what happened to the picnic log. I don't think so. Most termites can't see. Actually, I think we're just seeing a few termites. Look, termites live in colonies. There can be more than a million termites in a colony. A million? That's a lot. Around here, the colonies are underground. But in other places, they build these. They are huge! Mounds. The mounds are their nests. And at the center is the termite queen. It's her job to make sure that there are more and more termites. She is one big termite. It says that termite queens can grow to be as big as your thumb. She gets so big, she can't move around. So all of her children take care of her. So what do termites eat? 
wood, right? It says here that most termites like to eat rotting wood from falling trees. That's one of the ways decomposition happens. Decomposition? What's that? That's when old rotting plants break down and return their nutrients back to the earth. So that new plants can grow. Hmm. I know what made the picnic log disappear. You figured it out? You know where the picnic log went? Yes. The amazing Lily will now amaze you by explaining the disappearing picnic log. Yay, amazing Lily! The picnic log was a fallen tree. Right. I just never thought of it that way. And fallen trees are the kind of rotting wood that termites like to eat. The termites made the picnic log disappear. They ate it. That's decomposition. Exactly. Now the only thing that's left of our whole picnic log is that one little piece of wood. And the termites are eating that too. That is yeah. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So the disappearing picnic log isn't a magic trick after all. No, it's part of how nature works. I miss the picnic log, but I still like it here. It's nice to think that it's feeding other plants and animals so that they can live and grow. And speaking of feeding, picnic! And now I, the amazing Lily, will perform another amazing trick. I will now make the thin witch disappear. Huh? Oh, but it doesn't have wings like a bird. They have flaps of skin under their arms that they use like a parachute. Oh, so they don't really fly. They glide, like a person on a hang glider. Cool! Wow. Scientists think they do it to escape danger and to save the energy they would use climbing around. I don't think it likes the light. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's an owl. I really want to see an owl. Then let's head this way. <laughs> wow. I think it's a great horned owl. They're great hunters. They prey on rabbits, squirrels, and even skunks. Those are big animals for a bird that size. Is that a great horned owl too? That must be the female. It's higher. So you can tell the males from the females just by listening. Look out! Ah! Look, a different one. Cool face. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll say, I think this one is a barn owl, and it <laughs> doesn't hoot like most owls do. It shrieks. You know, I was a teeny bit nervous about being in the dark. You were? You know I was. Oh, it's okay, Willow. <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. Listen, you can hear the animals that are out at night. It's like a song. A night song. Have you noticed the night has a rhythm and a melody all of its own? And the music that goes along with them is the sparkle of stars in the moonlit sky goes on and on and on. Night song, night song, grab a shooting star and sing along. Night song, night song, it's a magical sound. Are you? tell the others. Whew. Hey, you won't believe it. 
I just saw a white bear. You saw a polar bear? A polar bear? Yes, well, maybe. I mean, I don't know. But I definitely saw a white bear by the river. Take a look. I don't see anything. Me either. Let's go up top. There's a better view. Okay, let's go see Chester's white bear. Chester, are you sure you saw a polar bear? I never said I saw a polar bear. I saw a white bear. But I thought polar bears are the only white bears. Lucky! Whoa! Told you. What's a polar bear doing around here? I'm not sure that's a polar bear. Polar bears live way up in the Arctic, where there's always snow and ice. Not around here. Also, polar bears are really, really big. They're the biggest bears on Earth. Baby? I guess it could be a baby polar bear, Nash. But it doesn't look right. Let's find some polar bear pictures so we can compare. Here's a polar bear. Uh, they're really different. The polar bear has a long pointed snout, and the white bear's is much shorter and squarer. Plus, the white bear has a big round forehead, and the polar bear doesn't. That white bear is not a polar bear. So what is it? Actually, it looks like this bear. The black bear. Yeah, that's a white bear. Black bear? Mind low. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that black bears come in different colors. They can be brown or gray or white. The white ones are called Kermode bears. Native Americans call them spirit bears. Why? There's a legend. A long time ago, it was winter all the time, which was hard for the people who lived here. But then it got warmer, and when the other seasons came, spring, summer, and fall, life was much better. Native Americans believed the spirit bear was created to remind people of how hard life was back when it was always snowy and cold. What a great story. What an amazing creature. A white, black bear. Mind blown. 